welcome to this week's episode of Success in Women. I'm Linda. I'm Andrea. And today we have a really interesting topic. We're going to be talking about personal growth. But before we get into that, Andrea's got her tip of the week. Hi, ladies. Well, talking about personal growth, I think my tips help everyone have a little bit of growth in their everyday life. And this week I found one which I've been using and it really works. So, you know, a lot of us have these packages of wipes, like whether they're baby wipes or, you know, hygiene wipes. This happens to be my Melaleuca um, uh, wipes that I use for um, germs and stuff around the house. Well, you know, when you go to take them out, they come out two, three clumps. You can never find the starter. Well, I saw this tip. You just take an elastic band and you put it here. That's it. And when you open it up, only one will come out. You won't get, it'll hold the other ones in place. You know, it's Perfect. interesting. I actually saw that elastic on it. I thought, I wonder why Andrew's got this elastic on there. Had no clue that it was to help. And you're right, because I've had other packages where, shoo, a whole whack of they them come out. They all come out. When I saw that, I was like, hallelujah, because I, how many times, like now I'm going to shove this back in because I, I, I'm going to use it later, but how many times have you had to shove them back in or they don't go in, they dry out, you have to throw them out. There's Perfect. your tip. Wow. Try it out. You'll be wow. pleasantly surprised. Wow. Well, that <laughs> was a good tip. And when Andrew shares these tips, as she said, she's helping with your personal growth. As much as we're learning all the time, we're trying to help you learn and you have to have that open mindset. So in a lot of times when you're, I'll say, pursuing a particular career or wanting to start a business, you know, some of us have this self-doubt and we talk about, you know, we don't believe in ourselves. We don't believe that we're capable. But with personal growth, it's all about you learning, you using your brain to seek out mentorship. Somebody that can help you learn something. Because I was listening to Tony Robbins the other day, and Tony was saying everything can be learned. But it's us that sabotage our That's own right. growth because we think not just that we don't deserve it, but we're not capable. We're not smart enough. Smart enough. And I think that's the key because uh, myself, you know, I've been a domestic goddess most of my life. And uh, with uh, Linda encouraging me to do this business and basically teaching me and and showing me everything um, as my I'm mentor, mentoring her. she's That's mentoring right. me. And, uh, you know, sometimes I think, I don't get it. I, you know what, like now we're trying to learn this new program. And I just said to her, I said, it's all Japanese to me. I don't understand it. And she said, we're going to learn. We're going to learn. So. She's very open to learning new things and that's how you grow. And your brain loves to learn, needs to learn to keep you young and vibrant and, and healthy. But even mentally, your mental health, yes. because you're always growing mm -hmm. in whatever it is that you're doing and in growing, it actually gets you that step closer. But you have to understand, you're not gonna do everything perfect every time you do something oh absolutely not. which means yeah. in that personal growth the more chances that you take at something the more times you fail the more opportunity you grow and learn from that sure like especially if you keep going like don't stop like you have one failure you learn from that and then you go and try again and it's and always what's like, the lesson what's the lesson and how can, how can I change it to make it work the next time? You know, like a lot of us on the, on the iPads, it was all, uh, especially our age group, it was all, you know, uh, try this. Oops, nope, that's not it. Try that. Oh, nope, that's not it. And then you finally figured it out. And now it's like a piece of cake. Yeah. You know, I remember years ago when they first came out, my husband was like, you got to get on there. I don't know. No, I don't want Yeah, No, no, not for me. Well, you know, once once you get on and once you get going, and, and like I was telling you today, my battery on my iPad is not charging. And I'm like, oh, 
you know, let's go. I'm going tomorrow to Apple to, to try and uh, fix this problem. But it's amazing how mm -hmm. 10, 20 years ago, it wasn't even a, a part of my life. And now. But think about that. That's a good point to say, because 10 or 20 years ago, somebody was thinking about other possibilities, mm -hmm. especially away from the desktop, the laptop. I mean, even yes. at work, our phones are all gone. We don't have phones at work. It's all through the internet on the computer, which you wear a headset. Wow. This is how somebody's growing and constantly coming out with these new developments. Change, changes Change. everything. And you know, that's the thing. Sometimes people are so static in their life that they're not growing, but then they wonder why they're not getting ahead. Right. And, and like I was saying earlier, there's, we always said there's the people that um, lead and the people that follow. And I think that's the difference, the mindset. The leaders are constantly wanting more, wanting to learn more, wanting to earn more. Well, they're never satisfied. They're never satisfied. They're always curious. And whereas the, the followers are happy to go put in their eight hours, make a paycheck, go home. That And, and they're content with that. And there's nothing wrong nothing with that. Nothing wrong with that. Because that's it, their mindset. That's right. And that's totally fine yes. because that's what they want. But if you're not content, right? if you're not happy, right? then you must change your mindset. You must figure out where you want to go, where what you want to learn next. So that would bring us to one of the areas of, of uh, personal growth and having some goals right because we talked about that if you have written goals of where you want to go now each of those goals what is it that it's going to take to get there and you have to start outlining and then piece by piece or step by step you get all of a sudden you're thinking okay was that coincidence because <laughs> all of a sudden now you've attained that particular goal and they say when they're written, don't just think about it because that's more of a wish. But if you actually write them, that's something that you're going to work towards because your brain is reading that. And you have to rewrite, reread, reread, and reread that goal many, many times after you've written it out in detail. Yes. Very specific. And all of those speakers and motivational um mentors whatever that's what they all say write it down write specific goals that you want to work towards and and that comes in with the manifesting yes that's know? another good one because mm -hmm. the manifesting is actually a little bit different than the law of attraction mm -hmm. and i was just listening to something recently because i'm always always about growth you know and there's always people out there that are willing to share their experiences and their expertise with you. So a lot of these things, you don't even have to pay for it. But if you get one good tip, you've learned something and exactly. you've grown. Exactly. And how do you know where that's going to lead you, mm -hmm. you know, onto that next thing that you really want. But manifesting was quite interesting. And that's where vision boards are really practical because when you manifest, you're actually seeing it in your mind as if you already have it, whether it's a house or whether it's a large bank account or, you know, this exotic trip you want or a man in your life or <laughs> a person that, right. you know what I mean? Right. Regardless. But the, the thing is, the manifesting needs to work and it works with visual. And so yeah. you've got to see it. But that all helps in that personal growth. Right. It's really kind of interesting. Even learning how to do that. Right. How to manifest. How to manifest. I was watching something, and that, and that's another thing that I've learned with this journey that we're on, is to watch different podcasts, different uh, YouTube channels. And uh, this one was um, how to manifest. People think they know how yes. to manifest, but they don't. They really don't. It's a, a, a very learned process. Yes, it is. And you really have to be focused, meditate on it. Mm -hmm. All There's all, all kinds of things in truly manifesting. Yes. So that you do achieve what that goal is. So, yeah, that's something I've been learning, too. And, and it's amazing. It's just amazing. And, and you see how these people like Tony Robbins, like... Yes successful people 
have done it because well, they Oprah were so focused. Yes, Oprah had talked Did about she? that before. Yes, absolutely. And that's the thing. They could see it well, well before they ever achieved it. That's amazing. I am always blown away every time I hear another success story of somebody actually manifesting having their goals all written, taking them out many years later and seeing this is what they wrote, how they even had that vision, mm -hmm. but it's all part of that learned growth that you want to go on. There's so much that you can do, but if you at least want to take that, that path, want to take that mm -hmm. journey, look for people online that can help you. People yes. that are in the same There's so mindset. Many. Keep away those people that are, I'll say, I, I like to call them Debbie Downers kind yes. of thing, because you don't need people saying, oh, you can't do that. Oh, why not? Why not? Look at us. All the time. And, and, and we've we, got a lot of doubters. <laughs> and we, yeah, we have and still do. And, you know, a lot of times uh, there's a lot of things when Andrew and I are talking or saying about doing something and she always goes, why not? <laughs> because what do we have to lose? Might as well. Might as well. That's, yeah, that's the thing. Might as I well. Like, I, I like to try new things. Like this, this is the biggest, of course, this, this uh, journey that you and I are on. But even... Um, you know, in life, the kids might say, hey, do you want to go try da 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 Sure, might as well. Let's, as well. let's do it. You know, because that makes life interesting and more fun. And like, it, besides learning and, and using your brain. But it, it's just, and it makes it more exciting. Like, the days can be so dull if you're doing the same thing. But life over can be and, dull that way. I mean, yeah, yeah, over and over and nothing's coming in the future nothing to look forward to that's a good point because i was going to say what do you look forward to if you don't continuously grow yeah or want to grow or want to grow right but again <clears throat> if you don't want to grow and you're quite content then you really should never have a complaint about anything right because your and life you know, should be yeah the way it and, is. and when you're talking about the, the the negative people around you it's funny because uh you said that because uh, we were in the car yesterday, I think it was, with, you know, my husband and my daughter. And my daughter said something about, I don't know, or doing something. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this is, I'm really off track. It was my two daughters. And my youngest daughter is starting a new path. It was kind of forced on her, but yeah. I always say sometimes God has to yeah. push you out so that you will change Absolutely. Your life, right? And this is what's happened. And now she's going in a totally different direction. So when she mentioned it in the in the car, my other daughter goes, Oh yeah, right. You you know I go, stop right there. Now another time I might have just let it go and heard her out, but I stopped her dead in her tracks and I said, Don't want to hear the negative. No. Yep. You th that crushes somebody else's dream yeah puts negative thoughts in the other yes. person's head and then they might say well maybe it's not for me maybe i yeah. can't do it that's not right that, yeah. do not do that don't crush other people's dreams yes. you know with negative negative thoughts <laughs> there was a, a guy at work we had a, a meeting last week and there was a guy at work and um he had been fired uh from his job but he is well respected in our industry, oh, well okay. respected. And, you know, I think the company kind of had to fire him because of something, a, a rule that he broke. And it wasn't, you know, life threatening, but, you know, we have rules and yeah. so you have to follow them. Of course. But he said, I, well, I was talking to him last week because he was at this meeting and I, I said to him, I said, uh, you know, who would have thought when you got fired and you're thinking your whole world is collapsing around you? that you would be here today in this role. And he said, it's true. He said, if that hadn't have happened, so God was closing that door on him. Yeah. But if it hadn't have happened, he said, I'd still be at the same job today. And where he miserable. is- Miserable. Well, <laughs> I don't think he was miserable because he's a really happy, contented guy, oh. but he has achieved so much more, so wow. much more greatness 
in his career that he didn't even realize was part of, I'll say, who he was meant to be. Right. But because you get contented sometimes mm -hmm. and you get complacent. And so you don't want to upset that apple cart so you don't leave. And but maybe, you get forced and, out sometimes. And maybe he was thinking that in that job that maybe he wasn't truly happy. Happy. And he thought, is this all there is? And yeah, don't, is yeah. don't isn't that have, a song? Isn't, yeah. Uh, yeah. Isn't there something else out there? So maybe those thoughts were in his head constantly to yeah. the point where he and got pushed out. Pushed out because even because with your daughter. Because his brain wanted to get out, yes. wanted to learn more. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and it's funny because sometimes consciously you don't realize mm -hmm. that, but all of a sudden subconsciously yeah. things will happen because you've been thinking and thinking. And again, that's how powerful the brain is. Yes. The, the brain along with the universe will make things happen Definitely. as long as you keep manifesting things. Mm -hmm. And that was what was happening. And I think with your daughter taking this new career path, She's probably opening up a whole big wide world of something that has so much more potential exactly. because she didn't have a lot of room to grow where she was. was. Exactly. And and I think it's a path that she should have taken 20 years ago. Well, but didn't and um, got sort of stuck in in a job you get comfortable you get comfortable people and, do that and, in marriages sometimes andrea yeah, they that's just get true comfortable. that's true and uh she's gone from one retail one retail one retail okay she's very good at it she can run your store like nobody's business and uh cell phones and computers it's a, a natural for her but it's not satisfying right. for her. And that's the difference, right? You might be good at something, but that doesn't mean you go home and you feel like, wow, that was really good. That's right. You know you did a, a, a good job, but you don't feel what you're saying. You feel something is still lacking. And probably that's like what I was saying, that her brain it was not happy. Her brain is stalemating type of thing. And... Uh, she's been wanting to do more, wanting to do more, and, and, and I don't even know how much she's thought about it, but that it made it happen. I it's, don't know. It's, it's, it's very strange how things happen and the timing, and it's, it's, it's something to think about. It is. And so, you know, some of the things, that, again, that you might want to do as a recap, you know, look for people not just people to build you up and encourage you, but people that can actually help you. So look for people that are doing the thing that you would like to do. Believe it or not, a lot of those people do not get asked for help and they are more than willing to help you in your journey, mm -hmm. in your path to help you succeed. It's, it's unbelievable how people assume that successful people will never talk to them, will mm -hmm. never help them along right. the way. And we're not talking about your Oprah's and everything. We're just talking in your neighborhood, right. in your field li line in of your work, circle. in your circle. Like just say, how did you get started? What course do I need to take? You're not asking them to, you know, share their, what they make and everything. Just help me get that initial start but you know when andrew says not oprah well you know what it's never <laughs> off the table because <laughs> oprah in her own life and i know that in her own circle she's definitely helped people but right. who's to say that she wouldn't help knowing and i'm not saying she's got it she's going to help everyone because she can't no no one's got that much time in a day yeah but, but how I mean, many if, times yeah. has she even has she had? She's gotten letters and emails and yeah. she has reached out to different she's people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely she has. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, don't say, for example, and I'm going to give you this really good example. We had this uh, owner at one point of our company, not anymore, but at, at one point, and he was a self-made billionaire. Wow. The thing is, I am sure that if you had asked, because you knew him, you had met him, that you wanted to sit down and pick his brain for 30 minutes, I think that he would have found the time because he was that kind of man. Just because he made it does not mean he's like forgotten about all the little people. Right. And I know because every time I've even talked to this man, he always made the time. Oh. And he didn't need to make time for me. I was not up there in that circle of, right. of you know successful people. And I consider myself a success. 
but there's different le levels of success. Oh, for sure. But the point is, I've had people tell me that a lot of people don't ever ask, you know what I mean, for yeah. help. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I've always tried to mentor some of the younger people coming in to our company just because I know what it's like. I know how difficult it is. And you need mentors in your life, but you also need to take some steps. And now that we have internet, which we didn't when mm, I first started, right. is that now you, I used to take all the in-person courses that I could find, you right. know, that would be related to my field. But now you go online, you can, you can get a lot of free courses. Some of them are paid courses, but not even very expensive, but everybody needs a coach. Everybody needs mentors to right. help them get into that next level of success that they're looking for because mm -hmm. people have done it before you. Right. And so why not, you know, piggyback on right. some of their expertise. And, and the internet's good also for, like you were saying about, uh, for work, but like in your personal growth, like yes. say you wanted to learn a new language. Yes. You want to play, you learn to play the piano or the guitar. It's all there. It's all you online. You just Google, how do I, you know, how to play the piano. How, you, they have course, you can sign up for free. You know, like so you did the things. Spanish yeah. uh, online. And I'm, I want to do that too. And uh, I'm trying to find a, a, um, a site. Maybe you can tell me about yours. And I, I would like to try to, to learn that because in Florida, we need that. Yes. You know, so for personal, like even baking. <laughs> the yes. other day, I wanted to make a, a, a different kind of apple cake. So I Googled and oh my goodness, thousands of recipes come up in pictures and you just, you know, look until you find something it's, that you like and then boom, I made it. Well, it's interesting because I just made her husband an apple pie yeah. and I Googled the recipe because as I was saying to her daughter, I said, you know, in all the years of making apple pies and I don't make them often, but I had gone apple picking last week and I thought I had really nice apples to make this pie. And when I was here before at Andrea's, uh, I saw her husband having an apple pie and I figured, oh, he likes it. So I want, I like to bake, but I don't have anyone to really bake for. So I only do it on a very rare occasion. So I Googled, I, like you, I Googled the recipe. Right. I went through a couple of them, but I went through this one that ended up being a five star, according to the reviews and so simple to make. Wow. But what a difference in the end. And I'm hoping that um, your husband actually tells me he likes it. Because, well, maybe we'll try it. Um, but anyway. our coffee. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, is that you got to try new things. Oh, I love it. I love the internet just for those. Because, you know, like I said, because of my job as a domestic goddess, I love to search out and find new things. And that's why I have the tip of the week. Because I'm, I'm constantly looking for ways to do things more naturally without chemicals or whatever and to help me with uh, little problems that i have uh, somebody somebody has a solution they do it's, it's amazing, amazing. <laughs> it's amazing it really is, it is. but you Anyways. know ladies personal growth is all about what you want yeah and if you want it you can have it don't ever limit yourself Right. because it's your belief system and sometimes maybe that's where you start with changing your belief system to believing that you can succeed at anything that you put your mind and your heart to so until next week i'm linda i'm angela we hope you like share and please subscribe and don't forget two thumbs up thumbs up we'll see you later bye ladies